Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts. This is the fourth video in the Mineralogy series. In this video, we will be discussing about crystal system and classes. So before going to crystal system and classes, you must know that the crystals are first divided into system, then it is divided into classes, and then finally classes are divided into forms. Now, to divide crystal, we already know that there are crystallographic axes. These are imaginary lines passing through the center of the crystal but not lying in the same plane. So these lines are of paramount importance while classification of the systems. And uh, there are major subdivisions include six divisions of systems. And each system has some classes and every class has some forms. So the first system is the isometric system. Now in this system, all the three axes, which is all the three crystallography axes, are of equal length and angle between them is 90 degree. They are orthogonal to each other and hence they are interchangeable. Next is the tetragonal system. Now from here tetragonal system the two axes the two horizontal axes are equal and perpendicular to each other which is in both of these axes are perpendicular to the third axis which is the C axis but is not equal to it. It can either be small or it can be larger than the two horizontal axes. And every system, every system has some characteristic symmetry elements attached to it. So the isometric system of the cubic has four axes of threefold symmetry. Now every form or every system or every class of isometric system will have four axes of threefold symmetry. And tetragonal system will have unique fourfold axes or fourfold axes of sixfold inversion. Then there is hexagonal system. Now, hexagonal system is again divided into hexagonal and trigonal divisions and it has total 12 classes. Now hexagonal system there are four axes in which three axes are horizontal and at 60 degree to each other. The fourth axis is vertical and may be shorter in length or smaller in length than the horizontal ones. And the angle between the horizontal axis and the vertical axis is 90 degree and it has unique sevenfold a unique six fold axis of inversion of uh, and uh, the other class has unique three fold axis. Then another system is the orthorhombic system. Now, in this system, there are three axes which are of unequal lengths A is not equal to B is not equal to C, but still the angle between the axes is 90 degree and they are orthogonal to each other. Next is the monoclinic system. Now, 35 percent of minerals crystallizes in this monoclinic system. They here the ang the axes, uh, all the three axes, all the three crystallographic axes are of unequal length, but the angle between A and B axis and B and C axis is 90 degree, whereas the angle between A and C axis is not equal to 90. So and the last one is a triclinic system in which neither the length of the axis is equal and neither the angle is of 90 degree. So it is a completely it's a system with the minimum amount of uh, symmetry and it has only it doesn't have any axis or any plane of symmetry. Okay. Next we have is the crystal system and classes of isometric system. Though I'll be discussing isometric system in detail here. And uh, so, as we have seen in the last, uh, um, as we have already seen, the isometric system has five classes. The first class is the normal or holohedral class. Now, there are some symmetry. It has the maximum number of symmetry elements in the isometric system. It has nine planes of symmetry, out of which three are axial, six are diagonal planes. Then there are 13 axes of symmetry, including three, four fold, four, three fold, and six, two fold. And there's also a presence of center of symmetry. Now, see. All the classes will have four axes of threefold. This this characteristic is inherent to isometric system. But as you go on to the gyroidal class, here the see all the plane of symmetry gone. There is no plane of symmetry, but still it possesses 13 axes of symmetry. And it includes three axes of fourfold, and same four axes of threefold and six axes of twofold. Then there is hexa tetrahedral system. Now in this six plane of symmetry is also there. The plane have come down from 9 to 6 as you go from normal class to hexatetrahedral and uh, all of these planes are diagonal diagonal planes 
and there is seven axial symmetry with three two fold and four three fold it has, has to be there four three fold axial symmetry then there is diploidal class where planar symmetry comes down to three planar symmetry and still it maintains seven axial symmetry which is of three two fold axis and four three fold axis of symmetry the last class of isometric the last class of isometric system is the tetro tetrahedral class in which there are seven axes of symmetry and uh, of which three are two fold and four are three fold so minimum amount of symmetry elements present in the isometric class is of seven axes of symmetry we have seen that isometric divided into five classes now the first class normal class is divided into um, seven seven forms now the first form is a cube this is a six faces closed structure it is a closed form and it has a symbol of one zero zero then there is octahedron octahedron each face is a equilateral triangle and there are total eight faces with a symbol one 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 these are the Miller indices symbol. Then there is dodecahedron, which has 12 faces. Each face is a rhombus. Then there is tetrahexahedron, tetrahexahedron, which has 24 faces, and each face is a tetragonal pyramid. Then the next form is trapezohedron, which has 24 faces again, and each face is a trapezium. Then there is tris octahedron. Tris octahedron also contains 24 faces, but each face is a isosceles triangle. And the last one, which is hexa octahedron, has 48 faces, and each face is a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle with symbol HKL. So this was about uh, the crystal system and classes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Normal class, we, mu we must remember all the species, all the forms and all the classes of the isometric system of the normal class. And uh, that's very really important. And uh, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be discussing about twinning in crystals which is very important with respect to the exams. There are a lot many questions these days. So, uh, till then, keep uh, like the video, please share the video, and please do mention in comments are you liking this initiator and what are the suggestions you have for the improvement. So, thank you very much. See ya.